Tonight, the CDC and scientists at nearly 70 state and local health labs are on the hunt for Omicron, sequencing 40 to 80,000 specimens each week. Given what we've seen in Southern Africa and certainly in Europe, we do expect that it is here. Like all viruses, COVID mutates. That's normal. But what is experts concerned is the high number of mutations in the Omicron variant, which attaches to human cells, making it more transmissible to others. We were invited inside the labs at UC San Diego, where scientists are sequencing positive COVID tests to check for the mutated virus. We get a lot of Delta right now. It's pretty much everything that we have in the lab coming through is Delta. In the lab, scientists take a COVID positive sample and look for what's known as an S dropout, meaning the virus's spike protein is so mutated that it can't be detected. That tells them they could be dealing with a variant such as Omicron. How likely is it that you're going to find it? Oh, we'll find it eventually. It's just a matter of how soon. Here, the virus hunting starts at the sewer. For months, this team has been collecting and sequencing sewage samples from UC San Diego and elementary schools across the city. It's a way of detecting asymptomatic infection early. By sequencing the wastewater and understanding what particular variants are in our community, it allows us to understand um, whether there's a variant of concern that has arrived. No signs of Omicron so far, but scientists here say it's only a matter of time. Tonight in San Diego, this team is poised to be among the first to find it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.